Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run games like Pokemon from the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance era on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm recording this on my MacBook Air 2020 and it has the M1 Apple Silicon ARM chip inside it. And I'm going to be showing you the OpenMU software, which is actually designed for the old architecture and runs well through the Rosetta 2 translation onto the ARM chip. So the very first thing you need to do is to go to the openmu.org website, which I'll leave a link to in the description, and then we just download the software here. So once OpenMU is downloaded, we just double click to open it. And then we want to drag this file into our applications folder. Once that's done, we just open it from here. In order to find your own game files, which are called ROMs, you'll either have to make your own dumps, which is quite a complicated process. If you Google a term like Pokemon Yellow ROM, you'll find many websites on the internet which are offering copies of the game, which you can download. Um, obviously, any games you download or ROMs you download are at your own risk, and please be very careful about downloading random free things from the internet. So once you have your ROM, which often come in zip files or .rom files, you can actually just drag them in from Finder straight into Open MU. It will import them and make a copy into your library. So the very first thing you should do is to double check your control preferences. So what we have here are default controls for, for example, for the Game Boy. So we use our cursor keys to make the movements. Start is the Enter key and the right shift, which is under the Enter key, is for select. And we've got A and S, which you use with your left hand. And that's kind of where you need to start first. So now I'll be demonstrating some gameplay. So I'll be playing some Pokemon Yellow. So all you need to do to load the ROM is just double click on it and then we'll get to the actual game itself. And I've just done my first fight with my rival and I'm going to leave and do some gameplay in the outside world. As you can see, the game runs really well. Um, I full screened it and um, I'm playing with a keyboard at the moment. I could actually play with a Xbox One wireless controller, which um, works on all the other games. And I'm just going to do this battle and just show you that it seems to work fine and all the music's fine. So um, I'm going to battle this Pidgey. It's uh, Thunder Shock. Wow. Super effective against normal types. And uh, good. I I've got there, and let me see my inventory, Pokemon, etc. Everything is kind of working. The keyboard controls are fine. Um, I could, as I said, I could use a, an actual controller with this, a wireless controller using Bluetooth, and that would work fine too. I would just need to set it up with an open MU to get that to work. Great. So I'm just going to come out of that. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the Game Boy Advance era of the game. So I'm going to load up my save of Pokemon Emerald. As you can see, the, the game is uh, looks really good and it's very responsive. I'll just full screen this. And uh, let's go into the long grass and see what happens. I'm going to fight with this guy. So you can hear the music, it's working fine, it's all emulating at the correct speeds. Let's see what happens when we get in a fight. Scratch. All the battle animations look normal and correct. All the music and sound effects sound correct to me, sound like exactly like the uh, Game Boy Advance versions of the game. Go into a house. Oh, this is the lab. Okay. So 
So as you can see, this game works really well. Um, let's move on to another game. Let's give um, a, the Game Boy Advance version of the Pokemon Pinball go. So this one's way more graphically advanced compared to the Game Boy version. What's happening here? <laughs> What's happening here? Let me full screen this. <laughs> So as you can see, that game works really well and I can play any Game Boy Advance or Game Boy game um, on this list here. And I think that this is a really good way to play retro games on this computer. There's obviously on the left here, way more retro game systems that you can emulate. I will be looking at the Nintendo DS versions of the Pokemon games, as well as emulating other systems. Um, some of them are a little bit buggy. For example, the PSP doesn't quite work properly on my system. I've seen it emulated well on other videos. Um, anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tech video.